whether that was a good or a bad thing to do. And the general consensus was that um, we didn't want to give, that, that, that wasn't my idea. Um, th from the working party, uh, the, the floor nurses basically said that we want to recruit people because we want them to come and work with us and be part of the team. And um, they felt uh, that it wasn't a good thing to be financially remunerated. So what we actually did was we've offered um, a dinner voucher uh, for two at uh, the Blue Water Grill, but we've offered a team-based incentive as well. So we're trying to get you know, a bit of that healthy um, departmental competitiveness happening. So um, for any nurse they get, uh, there's an individual reward of the dinner voucher and for the team, um, they can have some wine towards their Christmas party or you know, a basket of fruit or whatever it is. That, and we have a team-based celebration, so we'll do a presentation of the, of the um, vouchers and um, have a cake and, and celebrate the fact that we've um, recruited somebody. Actually, that's an interesting concept because Michael's most probably sitting there thinking, mm, okay, that's how my business makes money. <laughs> so that, that's, that's actually an interesting scenario that you know, innovation comes from the fringes, that essentially if that initiative was put into place, that directly impacts on your business, Michael. Yep, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's a, which I mean, that's I mean, that's an interesting concept that personally I had never considered before. But had you considered that? Did you know that was out there? Uh, what Robin's doing? Yeah. Oh well, I'm not saying Robin, <laughs> but if, if the, the concept is is if that is one person is doing it, then other people will be doing it. So I mean, that's an interesting scenario. Yeah. The, the concept of paying employees an incentive for providing referrals is actually has been around for a long time, uh, Craig. Mm. Uh, the big accounting firms back in the middle 80s were, were doing it. Uh, large corporations in the US, IBM, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, anybody you can think of, have got referral programs of one sort or another. And typically, typically, there may well be some sort of uh, financial reward. Um, but does it have an impact on agency type businesses? Uh, Probably not, because the labour that you're really trying to source, when you're, if you're talking to an agency, say in the environment that um, <coughs> we or others are working in, is typically a last resort. They're so hard to find, the demand is so high, supply issues are extreme, that um, no amount of, uh, of internal referral will by itself deal with what you're looking for. Mm. But at the moment, employers are doing whatever they can. I was sitting next to Wayne from uh, Gulf. Uh, earlier this morning and he was talking about how difficult it is to find people and how things are going gangbusters and Robin's talking about sleepless nights for the last three or four months and, and John here has just got uh, extreme uh, focus on finding talent. So companies are doing whatever they can and the mm. innovation that's going on at the moment and the use of networks is just sensational. So. There might be some negatives to all this about how difficult it is, but man, there's lots and lots of pluses about how, how exciting it is. True, yeah. true. Okay, um, thanks very much. On that note, we'll sort of conclude our proceedings uh, for this morning. We do have a door prize. And uh, for those people that um, who uh, entered into the room this morning, they were able to put their uh, business cards uh, into a bowl. And may, uh, Penny, maybe we'll ask Wayne to choose the... <laughs> The winner, uh, basically what the, the prize is, is um, there's a basket of uh, fortune cookies. Within those fortune cookies is actually embedded uh, innovation quotations. So the person who wins this can take it back to the workplace and share that with their people. Uh, this person uh, works in St George's Terrace. Uh, this particular person is a business development manager. And this person works for Drake. And this person is Shona... Um, Palino, if I pronounce that correctly. Please come forward, uh, Shona, and collect your door prize. Thank you. <clears throat> Am I sensing that uh, you're collecting this on behalf of Shona? I am. Okay, a <laughs> okay, workplace colleague. We should have had a redraw, uh, but that's fine. Okay, now, um, at the foot of your table, or at the end of the table, you notice that there's some purple folders in there, there's some information. Uh, we are running a uh, essential managerial skills program. It's a three-day management program on the 7th to the 9th of September. 
Uh, we're purposely keeping this particular program a small event. Uh, uh, so if anybody's actually interested in attending a three-day uh, management development program, uh, feel free to um, uh, complete that documentation. Also too, at the end of the table, we have an evaluation form. Something that we um, always like to do is to maintain our quality process. So certainly I'd be interested in your feedback for continuous improvement of this particular event. So if you could take the time um, before you leave here today to fill out the evaluation forms, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, so what I'd also like to do is to thank our speakers. I'd like to thank Michael McInerney from Gerard Daniels, who's given us a good insight to what's happening out there in industry. I'd like to thank Robin uh, Sutherland for uh, giving us an overview to what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'd also like to thank John Burt for giving us uh, insights of the importance of building strategic alliances and operating within a flexible environment. So ladies and gentlemen, can you please put your hands together for our speakers. Um, all four of us will be, uh, you'll be able to approach us at the end of this event if you have any further questions, so feel, feel free to approach us at the end. Uh, but I look forward to seeing you at uh, one of our next events, which is either the AMC Innovation Club event at the QV1 uh, or our Leadership and in Innovation Forum, which will be in November. So thanks very much. Thanks for your attendance and I look forward to seeing you uh, throughout 2005. Thanks everybody. <laughs>